That was so, so beautiful. Well, welcome back to the Sports Mag Zone. Uh, we continue, of course. Uh, telecommunications giant Digicel is celebrating 23 years of operations. And as part of the celebrations, the Sports Mag Zone will look at the impact Digicel has had on the development of sports regionally. During the past 23 years, Digicel has been involved with West Indies cricket, schoolboy football, track and field, Caribbean Premier League, that's the CPL, and so much more. The company is also the current sponsor of the legendary track and field stars Usain Bolt and Shelly Ann Fraser-Price. For joining us this afternoon to talk more on Digicel's continued involvement in sports is Digicel's Chief Marketing Officer, Tari Lavelle. Tari, welcome to the Sports Max Zone. Happy to have you on. Thank you, Mara. It's great to be here. Yeah, so it's a big, big year for Digicel 23. Yeah. I see you're in your shirt. I found my Jordan shirt this morning <laughs> as well. Talk to me about one. I think it's fitting that we start by talking about Digicel's involvement in sports because you all have been very committed. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's part of the launching pad that Digicel had when we came into Jamaica. And we know how important sports is in Jamaica as well. And, you know, we wanted to make sure that we as a Jamaican brand, and you know that Digicel is made in Jamaica, we supported something that is grassroots and rooted in the DNA of Jamaican fabric, and sports is that. Yeah. So, you know, from the beginning and inception, we were part of Jamaica Premier League, we were part of JFF, we were part of West Indies Cricket, and that's just to name a few in inception. And of course, as we've continued to grow over the last 23 years, making sure that we got into the communities who were able to support young athletes, right? So being part of schoolboy football, being part of champs, being a part of Grand Prix, track and field. And then of course, signing someone like Usain Bolt. Yeah, that's early, a big deal. Right? <laughs> um, he's been an ambassador for us for over 10 years. So, I mean, it's amazing for us to be associated with so many grand sports that are part of Jamaica. But as I said, Jamaica is the launching pad and we've been able to be a part of sports across the wider Caribbean as well. Yeah, and Digicel is such a big deal because when I think about it, there must be some sort of vision behind it, right? Because you said signing Usain Bolt from an early stage, like when nobody else got on to him, mm -hmm. Digicel was able to do that. You also have Shelly and Fraser Price. Yep. We're in an Olympic year. Shelly is a big, big deal. So I think my question is, how are you able and why is it so important for a telecommunications company to be associated with these sporting stars? Like, why is it such a big, big deal? Because even the foundation does a lot of work when it comes to that. Yeah, I mean, it's not about being associated with stars, to be honest. And when you ask about the strategic approach, the strategic approach is from grassroots to greatness, okay. right? It's about being in the communities and it's about supporting young athletes across the development stages, right? So from the inception, having been the opportunity to go into communities and do like clinics, so we would have had like jumpstart, we would have right. had kickstart so that we have, we give these young athletes the opportunities to be trained by global and international coaches, then meeting them in the middle when they're in their inter-secondary sporting stages, right? And then you get to the professional stages like a West Indies cricket or a JPL. 
well. And then you get lucky, <laughs> to be <laughs> honest. And, and that's why you want to be there in Inception. You get lucky with a phenomenal superstar like a Usain Bolt. You get lucky with a phenomenal person like Shelly and Fraser Price. And that's why the love that we have for those ambassadors and the relationship that we have with them is so amazing because we've been with them from the start. Yeah. We didn't join with them when they became stars, that's right? So we were them from inception. Yeah, so important. And I think that's why the relationship is so deep yeah. because they realize that you recognize their talent when, you know what I like to say, when nobody recognized it. Exactly. Yeah. And Tari, you spoke earlier on about getting into the communities because mm -hmm. this is more than just a, a, a sporting commitment for, for Digicel. And uh, I remember when Digicel came to the Caribbean, I was living in Barbados at the time. And even your Digicel Rising Stars um, talent show that yes. you have televised had not been just in Jamaica alone. You had in the Eastern Caribbean Friend and Barbados and as well. Yeah, yeah and, and it, was, it was a big hit then. Oh, yeah. And it was a, a, a big start for Digicel. When Digicel came to the Caribbean, they came hard. Oh, yeah. and listen, it was all about going big. And as you said, um, you touch on the fabric that you know runs through the thread of the cultures of each of these countries, right? And in particular, when you look at Jamaica or the Caribbean at wide, sports, and you're looking at football, cricket, basketball, you look at music, you yeah. look at all these amazing artists. I mean, if you listen to the song that was just playing, you know, we were blessed to be able to uh, make that song alongside Marshall Montano, who was one of our brand ambassador, global brand ambassadors, and work with him and Usain and Kez and Shelly and Fraser Price for uh, the, 2000, the 2016 Olympics, yes. right? And so working with them to be able to bring the culture of music and sports, and you had these global icons, it, it's, it's truly phenomenal. And it sits at the heartbeat of what Digicel really represents. Yeah, and you know what? I, I found that when Digicel came in as well, it, it caused a kind of explosion with the competitive um, telecommunications mm -hmm. because your rivals um, responded to the challenge and things got really, really competitive. Of course, um, bigger, better network, Digicel, <laughs> ended up being champions, didn't they? Well, you know, I think we always love to bring excitement and we would be remiss to sit on the Sportsmark zone and not talk about competition, you know what I mean, and how much we've loved and rivaled in it and uh, I think it's made everybody better. I think it has made the telecommunication space for our customers better. Yes. It has made us have to deliver a better product to them. It has made us have to make sure that we put our money where our mouth is, like being here downtown and going into the communities. And as I said, with the Grassroots to Greatness program and Monica that we have, it makes sure that we're constantly giving back. And as I said, doing things like the clinics, whether it be a rising star music clinic, so you're trying to find the young artist and you're working with a Michelle to do a music academy, or you're working with a Manchester City to bring at, um, coaches down to work yeah. with young athletes, or you're bringing, working with the NBA to take people to New York so they go to their first basketball game. You know, it's phenomenal that uh, Digicel has been able to do all of that in Jamaica, you know. Um, so uh, we're really excited about the rivalry. We're really excited about 23 years. It's the right. Jordan year, yes. right? So, um, and of course, part of what we're doing right now is not just celebrating our customers, but you're all invited to come outside because we have a special fun day as well for everybody here in this yeah. building. But I want to ask you about the celebrations because 23 is a very big year. Mm -hmm. um, you're the man doing the marketing. So what are we to expect? Well, <laughs> I, I'm just the man talking on the TV. The, the people doing the marketing is a phenomenal team that uh, really drives this business. You know, it's, it's a 15 person team that really put their heart and soul into everything that they do. We ensure that the customer is at the center of everything we do. So part of the celebrations for our customers, just saying, you know, thank you for 23 amazing years here in Jamaica is one, you know, we gave all of our prepaid customers 2.3 gigabytes that they can utilize for 24 hours. They just have to go into the My Digicel app and claim it. And then the first 23 postpaid customers that went into the My Digicel app and opted in between 223 and 323, they're getting uh, one free month of their subscription. So, you know, we're always trying to give back to our customers and just really say thank you because the truth is there would be no Digicel without our customers and we would have never reached 23 years uh, without our customers. And then, of course, you don't know, so we bring out the jersey and thing, 23 years because the same excitement that we have for our customers, we have for our staff as well. And we're celebrating with a nice fun day in the car park where we're going to have shooting games, we have the, the, the riding bull, we have hang ten, we have ice cream, we have donuts, we have coffee. Because once again, without our customer care 
agents, without technical, without our CEO, without HR, without the phenomenal team that brings it all together, this also wouldn't, wouldn't we wouldn't have reached where we've reached. You know what, I, I just, before the show started and we were just talking before you came on, uh, Tari, about the impact of sport, because here it is with your Jordan and your 23 here, um, it just shows the sort of impact that sport can have mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. uh, the 23 year anniversary is now labeled a Jordan year, yeah. and yeah. this is a sports star because Michael Jordan wore number 23 as you, yeah. as you as you are displaying here. And I'm just saying that it is an illustration of how far-reaching sport and sporting success can can go. And Digicel just wants to make sure that it is a part of that. Absolutely. And and then the joke is, as I keep saying, it's the marriage of the sports and the music because you have someone like Ding Dong who says. 23 like Jordan are the goat year. So the fabric of it as a Jamaican business, as I always tell you, we are a Jamaican business. You'll see it on all of our creatives. We talk Jamaican, we act Jamaican, we give back to Jamaica. So it only made sense for our staff to put it all together. So you have the music and you have the sports and the marriage works so well. Yeah. yeah. You know, about 10 years ago, or was it as long as that, you just mentioned about giving youngsters an opportunity to experience mm -hmm. elite sport and you mentioned going to NBA venues and so on, but there was um, there were a couple of trips to England, weren't there, where you yeah. had um, youngsters being chosen to be a part of the Digicel program, Kids to be a program. part of the Manchester City setup. Yeah, I think there was a Chelsea trip as well. Yeah, and uh, those were th those were opportunities that mm -hmm. some of our young footballers what in the entire have? Caribbean would that would be written indelibly in their minds about that opportunity. Absolutely. Um, so we had the Kickstart program, which is what you're speaking of, where we had a partnership with Manchester City and also had a partnership with Chelsea, which allowed us to bring coaches into the region, into the Caribbean and into Jamaica, where they trained a number of um, young athletes at a clinic and then a smaller group was selected from that clinic to then be able to move on to uh, visit London and or Chelsea and go to Manchester and then train at the Manchester fac yeah. and facilities and also at the Chelsea facilities. And we copied and pasted that exact model with the NBA as well, same yeah. thing, going into the Caribbean, training a few young athletes with the, their clinics, then moving them on to New York for them to actually train with NBA coaches and then getting a whole experience where they actually play against D league teams. Yeah. They go to watch an actual um, basketball game. And coming back to the point that I spoke to Mariah about, about it being from grassroots to greatness, there are actually athletes that were part of the Jumpstart program that have actually made it into the NBA as well, yeah. or in the NBA draft. So that is the story that we're constantly trying to tell, right? Yeah. And as long as we can continually thread that throughout our story and our narrative, the lives that we're able to change, yeah. the lives that we're able to impact, the young athletes that are able to go from grassroots to greatness and really stand behind our moniker that Digicel is made in Jamaica. All right, well, the world is definitely a better place with Digicel. Tari, we want to thank you so much for, of course, joining us here on the Sports Max Zone. And Lance and myself, we're looking forward to the treat at the end of the show, the one that's happening outside, the celebrations. Yeah, I just invited you guys, so you have to come now. I mean, we work here, Tari. <laughs> We're going to come. <laughs> All right, so of course, the Chief Marketing Officer there, Tari Lavelle, joining us to talk about Year 23 for Digicel. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we have a lot more in store for you on this fantastic Friday. We'll be back. Yeah, man. <laughs>